Hi, this is Dave Ford, President and Founder of the Atlantic Gold and Silver Centre, and we've put together this short video to show you what to expect if you bring in some gold jewellery for us for testing. Many people find the process quite interesting, so I thought we'd just put this video together to give you a little preview of what you would expect when you come in to sell to us. Okay, so we have a little collection of jewellery here that um, I'm going to be testing. I have a loop here that I use for testing, um, a magnet, a gold tester, calculator and my set of scales. So the first thing we do when we get some jewellery in is we have a look at it and we sort it out and we will just run a magnet over it just to make sure that it is all gold. Gold and silver do not stick to magnets at all. So nothing here should... Ah, okay. So this is a cufflink, it sticks to a magnet pretty solidly and that means it's either gold plated or just a piece of costume jewellery. So we're going to reject that one straight off. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look for is to see if any of this jewellery has any stamps on it. We're looking for 10 karat marks, 14 karat marks. The European markings are 375 for 9 karat, 417 for 10 karat, 585 for 14 karat. I'm going to use a jeweller's loop and generally I'm going to look for tags or marks anywhere on the jewellery. So this chain says 10 karat. This bangle says 10 carat. This uh, is a wedding ring that's obviously been cut off of somebody. Uh, there's no markings on it at all that I can see. So we're going to put that as unknown for now. And then we have one earring here. It's difficult to see the marks on the earrings. Here we go. This one says 14 carat. Okay, so we've got two pieces of 10 carat, or marked 10 carat, one piece marked 14 carat, and one piece unknown. So the next thing we'll do is we'll use our gold tester, and that will just check the purity of the items to see whether they are as they're stamped. We clip it on the tester here. We need a little bit of gel to come out of the tester here to put onto the test surface. And we hit our test button. Okay, yep, we get a reading that's consistent with 10 karat gold, so that one's good. Box link chain here. Now often we find on some chains and on some other items that we do need to rub them down a little bit because they don't always give a good mark, good, sorry, a good test mark. Yep, this one's fine, it's coming in at 10 karat as well. Okay, now, so we know those are all 10 carat, and this one is supposed to be 14 carat, so we'll test this the same way. Yep, and we're getting a higher reading than 10 carat, we're getting a nice high reading that's for 14 carat. So now we're going to test this one, and this is the one we don't have a marking for, so I'm going to test it. I'm actually going to test it where it's cut, because that gets me access to the inside of the material. Yeah, this is coming up with a high reading, very, very similar to the earring. So we know that this is 14 carat as well. Okay, we're done with our tester for now, so let me put that aside. Next thing to do is to weigh the gold. So I've got our scale here. This is sensitive to three decimal places. We'll put our 10 carat on first. And we get a total of... 11.348 grams. It's very sensitive to scale. You'll see it move by a thousandth just by breathing on it. And then on the 14 carat, let's put that on. Just to zero it again. We have 8.078 grams. Alright, so the next thing I would do is I would go to my computer and I'd look up the rates for today for 10 carat and 14 carat and I did that just before starting this video. The rate for 10 carat we're paying today is $17.10 a gram. So we have 11.348 grams times 17.10. So for the gold here, for the 10 carat gold, the total would be $194.00. 
and 5 cents. And for the 14 carat, the rate uh, that I looked up just before the video was $23.85 per gram. So we've got 8.078 grams times 23.85 equals $192.66. And if we add those two together, we get a total of $386.71. Not bad for a handful of jewelry. Okay, so if we were doing this for real in the store, we would then take a photo of the gold items with a copy of ID. Uh, we always take ID with anything we buy, just for security purposes. And then we would give you your cash and you can walk out. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye.